We're in it. This is our first look at Warm Snow. Warm Snow, a brand new game from Billy Billy, I believe is the producer. The Dragon Emperor. And the four families of the dynasty. Tiger. Swine. Turtle. Cream. Rebelled against God. <laughs> that was not a good idea, apparently. Yeah, Billy Billy's the publisher. I don't know who the dev is. Uh, making the world a place full of sorrow and somethings. I like the art. <laughs> Rip? Holy crap. All right, we're in the game. As I said, Warm Snow is an isometric roguelike. You finally came back. The temple is in danger. Go back and help. Go to the temple? Oh, I'm like their warrior, so that probably makes sense. Melee. Very fast combat so far. You can break boxes. Looks like you have a finisher. I have daggers. Shoot flying sword. Ooh, it auto aims. RT to recall all summoned flying swords. That's kind of sick. Oh, it has a cooldown to it. But you can pick them up manually. Did I get shot? Oh, I think I did. All right, use flicker. A button? Oh, maybe to get through those boxes? Okay, take. So this is a roguelike. The roguelike piece, you make a build. We have core, pound the ground with tremendous force, dealing melee damage and stunning. Trigger a shockwave that deals melee damage and stuns. Trigger a shockwave that deals two melee damage and... Oh, on final blow. On flicker. So that's dodge roll, I guess? Or when I'm attacked. So we definitely don't want that. I kind of like the idea of like my melee finisher does a stun. On enemies around it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you can just pick these up instead of doing the recall. It's kind of cool. You found bone. Ooh, I wonder if that deals damage, like, on the way back. All right. You are glowing? Worship. Sure. So we have more roguelike stuff. The Seven Sword Shura. But the Shura lack in manners, they make up for it in their temper and fighting prowess. Worship. And let me know if the game is too low, by the way. Sound-wise. Worship of the Seven Sword Shura will grant you powerful melee abilities. Your weapon will seek out the enemy's weaknesses and fall them in one blow. Um, so you passively get move speed and chance to crit. But I have the choice between shooting a flying sword that boosts your damage on your next melee. Or instead of shooting flying swords, you now shoot a powerful flying sword to the front when you do a melee. I might have to hit something. Around the broken dragon spine. Wolves? Friendly? Not friendly? So I can't use my ranged attack anymore, but it kind of just 
shoots them out, which is interesting. Okay, we have different routes. You can go book or you can go chest. Go book, sure. <laughs> I I don't know the difference. You do a lot of damage in this game from the look of it. Like you're too busy howling. Like you're all dead before you get the chance. So like the a sect skill. Wild Rage, all attack plus 10%, lose HP every second. Increase your damage by 25% when you're not using Excalibur. Increase all your damage by how many souls you have. I don't think I have Excalibur, just to say that. What's my weapon's name? Yeah, an ordinary. Just don't get Excalibur and we're fine. Okay, I guess these are the same. I've seen a couple Let's Plays of this game. Looks pretty cool. Hope I enjoy. Yeah, and I want to get into the idea. Yeah, it looks like if I hit the enemy, my swords fly out of it. Which is still kind of hypey. Oh, the recall! Hit it. Okay, I'm guessing this is health. Which I assume I don't need. Unless it's max health. And this is souls. Blue phlegm. Okay, sound looks pretty good. <laughs> Bad time to be a wolf. Holy smokes. You're saying this is more like Dead Cells than Hades? Ooh, okay. Fast stand up. Ow. Okay, so I can heal. I don't think I need it, though. Not yet. All right, what are you doing? Wolf army? Wolf pack assemble. Oh, my God. Oh, look at all of them. So dodging is a little weird. Oh, I'm on I'm on cooldown crap. I don't know how many health flasks I get All right take select the sect skill follow through upon sword pickup Unleash one hurricane slash upon using sword recall do a giant hurricane slash Increased chance to trigger cold blood. I don't know what that is. Increase Cold Blood's damage. Cold Blood. Oh, that's my crit. So 15% chance to do more crits. Or do a 400% crit. For each sword stuck in the enemy, increase it by 15. So on bosses. Wait, are these epic? That's gotta be the hit, right? Take, we got a pearl. Gain a shield equal to your max HP that lasts 10 seconds. All attack up. On dodge roll, get a shield. That sounds busted. Gain a shield for 6% of your max HP every 45. So this only lasts for 0.5 seconds. But like I was dodge rolling and then getting tagged by the monster. So maybe that's the hit. Is this Excalibur? It's not Excalibur, so I can take it. It has an Excalibur effect, though. If you have Millennium Ice in your power slot, you gain one chill. I, I will take it, I guess. Who to leave? 
All right. Do I get my health flask back? That's very important. Okay, I did get my flask back, which is nice. Okay. Excaliburs are the swords you can get throughout the runs. But I had something that does... Maybe I... Yeah, this thing right here. Increase all your damage when you're not using Excalibur. Are you saying that, like, my ranged attacks deal more damage? Like, basically everything except for basic attack deals more damage. Oh my god. You gotta take them out. They might turn into zombies. Gotta do it. There's one right here. I got an achievement. Oh, bad recall. Oh, look at the boar. Recall? It's on cooldown. Crap! I do bonus damage just for having swords and enemies. Recall? Ah, I didn't get the geometry. What's up? Okay. Um... See, these are the kind of games I vibe with. Chest? The devs don't know that this is the V.me special right here. Oh my god. As soon as I learn the geometry, it's it's oh my god, it's GG. Just to tell you that. Okay, so attack indicators seem to be my number one issue right now. But that's a get good. Like, you have to learn what the attack animation looks like. I'm getting hit. Oh, big stun. I think there's a world where the zombies are, like, tagging you while you're standing in the mob of them. Ooh, epic rares. Mechanical casing. Upon sheath, gain a shield that takes an amount of damage. When rage reaches 100... Rage? Upon dealing damage, 15% chance to gain a shield. If you have a shield, all damage you deal is increased. Or the skill, shoot a shockwave in all directions that deal lightning damage. Upon gaining a shield, shoot a shockwave. So now every time I dash... So I thought like it was a button to press. It's not. It augments my ability. Wow. Alright, swine. Hitting it through the wall, that's OP. Don't tell the devs. Yeah, synergies and roguelikes are huge. Like any... Any any indie devs if you're out there? Some of the number one things that you want in your roguelike are endless synergies. It's not always about like just random stuff. Though random stuff is cool. It's what the two random things do together. That's what's important. Big recall. Big mommy boar Alright, we're playing a little safer 
Never mind. All right. Looks like I'm getting health if that shows up. New skill. Wild Rage. Lose HP every second. No. Sword Fusion. When attack, chance to take no damage and shoot a flying sword. Defensive Stance. If you take no damage for 15 seconds, you take 25% reduced damage the next time. That seems easy enough to do. Okay. Um, now we are... We're at 387 blue flame. We don't know yet on when we get to utilize blue flim. There's a lot of different ways to do currencies in roguelikes. It could be like during um, a stage transition. There may be a case where, ooh, people, people. Why are we fighting people? Don't you all realize the world is ending? Why am I fighting people? Rip Archer. Everything does that. Even like TV shows like The Walking Dead. Left for, uh, left for us. <laughs> left for Dead. Last of Us. Everything is like there's zombies. But you want to fight me. Okay. Lady, I don't know what you just said. Wait, that's a big lady. She froze them all. That's a gigantic madam. <laughs> what? We were talking about that with Queen DLC. Devs, five things I wish I knew before I made my small indie game. Make sure that your madam is as large as possible. <laughs> That's how you get the clicks. Um, okay, so... Receive one random quality ambrosia, which I guess is my healing? Receive one random quality mechanical rotor. A key herb. Receive one random Excalibur with rarity no less than epic. Recover HP. So unfortunately, I have to do this because I'm trash. Um, okay. 10% chance to evade damaging attacks. Automatically consume all rage to enter wine fairy mode. Um, all your melee attacks in the next five seconds become finishing moves. We haven't figured out what rage is yet. Like, I don't think there's a meter. Like, if you all see a Rage meter, definitely let me know. Because I certainly don't. Alright, goodbye, large madam. Legend said it's the meter under my health. The one that's been blanked the whole game? Or does it not appear until you actually have something that utilizes it? We got damage on the board. Not bad, not bad. Twin headed. It's twin headed behemoth in Dead Cells. In a Yu Gi Oh! Recall? Oh my god, the bubble is kind of sick. Phase 2? Oh, I took out a head. Oh, double dash. All right, big recall. Ah, uh, I don't think that hurt me. I'm kind of glad I took out the, um, the torture chambers. Not gonna lie, I'm not 100% on board with the, uh, the ambiance in the background. Alright, big recall right here. 
Wait, I took all of my health and damage. All right, easy clap. Did uh, did I get my rage off? I I can't tell. Warrior born. Upon killing an enemy, damage increased by four sec four percent. Lose one layer of that effect if you get hit. Upon dealing damage, increase all damage to the target. No, we don't do when dealing damage. Melee attack up. Defense down. Massively. Damage all enemies in your path. I'm thinking... As much as I like the... Like, super rare... Um, we're probably all set. Alright. Big decisions right here. Spike shoot out of the ground, dealing 41 damage. Melee attack for 14%. I'm probably replacing this. Summon spike to deal 7 melee. That's fine. Goodbye, bone. Oh, we can swap this. So, like, I can keep the bone, but still do something with it. That's kind of cool. Muhurta. Melee attack speed up. Range gain up. Rage. Double rage gain. Legendary relic drops. I think we take this. Oh, okay. I can't uh, do anything about that. That's still pretty fast. All right. Freedom. Saved at last, that fat so locked me up here for stealing just a bit of his treasure. What a miser. You have my thanks. Go on without me. I'll catch up later. Let's check if this is max HP. I assume not. I don't think... I don't think my HP has a value like that. But we'll find out. This game is looking legit. Happy to hear that. Can you recycle the bone? I tried. It just keep trying to flip itself. Recall? Dang. My recall's not super impressive. I know you can buff it. But, um... Maybe this isn't the recall build. Who put this pig in here? Yeah, it's a heal. Doesn't increase your max HP. That's kind of unfortunate. All right. Always like destructibles. We're not getting anything for it. Get up! There is a fast get up, but <laughs> it told me what the button was to get up quickly, and I already forgot what it was. Are you drinking her bath water? It was a statue. A fountain. <laughs> Buddy, are you okay? Was it... Was it not a fountain? Recall? Yo. I should actually talk about this. Warm snow. There is... This is no ordinary snow. Close observations suggest that it is some kind of living organism. It's kind of gross. So the snow fell. Oh yeah, the snow fell on the little girl's cheek. And she turned into a zombie. I don't even have the timer up for Rogathon. This is basically just a fake first look. Okay, whatever this thing is, it's kind of sick. Okay, sword. My weapon's really good, so we're gonna pass on that. Alien snow. Yo, that sounds like some uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Yo, again, achievement. 
No, isn't it? Isn't that Stephen King? The um, the the guy, which is actually no spoilerino. It's a creature disguised as a man. He goes to this small town where like there's this endless blizzard, and like forces them to make terrible decisions. Wait, how fast can I spin? Is there just? I am so sorry. I did not mean to do that. I was spamming. Yeah, can I just spam dash? And they, I mean, they can hurt me because my shield is only like a percentage of my health. Let's go up. Mansion, second floor. What are you all looking at? I want to see. Toxic. I just wanted to see what's going on. All right, big recall. He's sick with it. I did enrage. Oh yeah, I got the move speed. All right, large madam is back. Um, one pearl, one yellow charm, another ambrosia. Um, oh, the ambrosia is the rage, I think. Random Excalibur. My Excalibur's fine. Okay, so this part of the game, it's a little weird because unless this stuff is higher rarity, because it's random quality, my stuff right now, so like I have a pearl, you would think you want to upgrade your quality of pearl. So I got, I think I got the same one. And, like, maybe that is the mechanic where you kind of know what each one of these do. So, Icebreaker Stone does stuff based on ice. If you see a chance to get a new Icebreaker Stone, you take it. Same thing with the mechanical casing. You just get, like, a higher rarity that deals additional damage. I don't know what yellow charm is, so let's give it a try. Um, upon dealing damage, 15% chance to receive a yellow charm, up to 6. When you use Sheath, which is my recall, all your charms home in on an enemy and hurt it. And then Rage gives you a ton of charms. Final blow in a melee attack, apply Exorcism Charm to the enemy. All damage also adds 15% extra Flim. I think Icebreaker's better because it does more stuff. So the only thing is maybe doing this. Which is actually like a bonus to my damage. But you can't recycle these, unfortunately. She definitely... Okay, so a couple of things so far from what I've noticed. Um, Number one... She probably needs subtitles. Number two, the ambiance in like the dungeon area. I probably would do away with that and or have an option to like toggle on off. Kind of like Metallic Child had a kid friendly mode. Where I, I don't even know what the difference is. But if that's an example of what I could turn off, I would. Um, And then... Maybe telling me a little more about what's what in terms of my UI. I know I have like the benefit of a Twitch chat. But maybe not everyone has that. <laughs> okay, this is how you destroy stuff. No! Giant thing. 
Oh wow, we're choosing violence. Insolent intruder. You will pay. Oh my god. To be fair, I would probably do the same thing. I just go in shooting. Alright, what's up? Nice try. Recall? Oh, we're gonna get so many charms on this. Ow. Oh my god, he got destroyed. <laughs> what? The shopkeep isn't family friendly? I, it's, it's good enough, I think. Round two? No. Oh my god. Wait, I got knocked down for that. Right arm. I got hit. I don't, I don't know where I want to dodge just yet. Like, I was thinking maybe the corner's safe. Oh, we found the sweet spot. Recall? So, like, it's kind of safe on the other side? Oh my god! MMO mechanics! Yeah, why play FF14? Sorry, I have an itch that's like really bothering me. Why play FF14? We can just bask in the warm snow, the alien snow. Rated M for mature. All right, we found the spot. Get the fire. DPS check. <laughs> What's up? Demonic Blue Kunai. Whoa! Get me out. Go in. Okay, starting from the right. Watch the face. I'm a career MMO player. You can't put that stuff in front of me. 100% I'm able to dodge it. Totally not family friendly scene. Yeah, a little bit of blood. Um, I did not put the mature filter on the stream today. I apologize for that. Um, I didn't know what I was getting into. Heavens! <laughs> Heavens to Betsy. Oh, these are the mechanical rotors. 15% chance to strafe nearby enemies and deal flying sword damage. You receive one charge stacking, consume stacks. Upon dodge roll, shoot missiles. Shoot missiles in the direction of the attack with each missile dealing five damage. Oh, on melee attack, it shoots missiles. I like my build. I don't think we uh, put in the missile stuff. The letter says, Dear brother, his majesty is now old and frail. My son has reached adulthood and our clan's ambitions will soon become reality. That's why we're fighting people. Because someone out there, when the world has demons and zombies, someone is still evil. Imagine. 
Um, defensive blades. Increase defense dealt by 25% for each sword. I'm not carrying too many swords. Increase chance to trigger my crit by 15%. Chance to take no damage. And shoot a flying sword that knocks attacker back when I get hit. We want the crit. Um, and then there's a sword here. Annihilation. Good movie, by the way. Whenever you trigger crits, sword recall is reduced. That's actually what I'm supposed to take, I think. But it's it's only rare. We lose the legendary. Double melee damage up. All right. He do be throwing the game sometimes. It's synergy, though. Every crit, I get more freaking thingies. I get more yellow scrolls. Think about the synergy, people. Think about the synergy. We're just leaving it like that? Yeah. What am I gonna do? See anything you like? Receive random number of blue souls. Receive one random relic. Receive one random Excalibur. Synergy doesn't beat raw power every time. Tell that to uh, the big guy. Enemy with drunk takes 9% damage. Who's out here drinking? Actually, I think I'm... I was drinking, but I got rid of Wine Fairy. To be perfectly honest, Warm Snow, like, it's got the bones. Good bones on it makes for a good game. You just get the meat. You just get the uh, the mature filter and or remove some of the um, the questionable stuff. Or give me the option to do so. And you could have like a super decent game. But yeah, that was Warm Snow. Definitely let me know what you all think about the game. If you're seeing this on YouTube, give me a comment in the YouTube comments. Let me know if you want to see more Warm Snow. Or if you end up picking this game up yourself. Let me know that as well. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next video.